to our dot tutorials today we're going to look at the dot super constructor so how to actually implement super constructors in your dot and uh, constructors are simply what calling the same what class name calling the same class name inside the class so every class that you call the class name inside the same class is term as what a constructor but let's look at the super class because we're gonna we, we normally we create different classes with sub and a super class okay so let's begin with creating a super class to see how it actually looks like so so that is normally called the parent class the parent class okay good so here let's say we we creating the super class using just the name super class okay we can actually use any name so super class okay good super class and then uh, we call okay we have the parenthesis and then good so this is what the super class now what do we term as subclass subclass is having a class that depends on this okay so we're gonna create another class that will actually extend from this okay then that is gonna be the subclass so I call it the class subclass subclass and it extends from the superclass okay so extends from where the super class, uh, class so extend super class okay good good okay then we're gonna have another no we're not gonna have another subclass we're just gonna have a method in here so the method will be calling both the super class and then the subclass itself so in this super class we're gonna have uh, parameterized what uh, method in here so constructor rather okay so a constructor is simply calling the same construct uh, the class name inside the same class that is what a constructor okay so here we'll be having um, this and then we'll have some print statements in here so we're gonna have print print basically uh let's say we are printing uh what should we print here this is the super class constructor yeah just to demonstrate okay so we say this is this is the super super class constructor okay so just for you to understand so for simplicity sake and understanding sake that's why I'm doing this so super class construct what constructor excellent okay then what are we gonna do here we're gonna have uh, a constructor of the subclass as well so is the same name of the subclass so this right same then uh, we call this also in here so subclass and then we also have some message display in here so first let me do the print 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 this subclass this is a subclass uh yeah this is what a subclass contractor okay constructor okay so is it this is is a subclass on okay perfect so we have the super class constructor and then we have the subclass constructor all right perfect but uh, before before that 
let me create let me create the instance of the subclass so that you can actually call the call the subclass but before that i want to have a method in here that will also display from the subclass okay we have the constructor then we have one method so we're gonna call this display so display in here okay and what are we gonna display we're gonna display we're gonna display just a string okay so we want to display probably um, just for understanding sake so let's say we display welcome to check now tv okay perfect all right then inside here let's see how we can actually instantiate the object first we already know this we've been doing this in our previous video so this is just a simple demonstration of how to understand super constructors in that okay good so we have the subclass the subclass so i'm using s for the variable then then i call the subclass here that's the object subclass okay then i terminate this all right what else then i need to call the subclass method so how to call the subclass method is it very simple so this is what call in the subclass method okay all right then here was what what were we doing here so this one is actually helping us call both the subclass and then also what also the child class as well okay so to call that if you use the variable s then append then you call display perfect then i terminate this one okay good so let me run this and let's see what we have on the screen okay but good so now we have this is the super class constructor and this is a subclass constructor okay so this is a subclass constructor okay good but what we want to do here is to add uh, the what the parameterized super class here okay but how come this from the super class also printed here here before this and then that uh, what you should know is anytime you call a subclass which has been extended from a super class after it calls the subclass it also calls the super class here which is hidden so probably just like this so manually is like this like this and then the super class like this this is how it's being called but you don't actually see it so so you see it works but we will only use this if we have a parameterized what super class for example if we have a string here a string message so message msg here good if we have a string message and then we let's say we print out the string to the user so when we have the value inside here oh, oh no 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 print out the message message that is msg here then it's a must that we need to call the super class here okay then it's a must we need to you see we have an error because this is a parameterized what uh, super class which is extended here and uh, there is no value passing to this what parameter so it's gonna 
gonna actually give an error so what we have to do here is to add the superclass keyword here and then pass in a string here a string that will be passed in this one and print onto the screen so so let me write this so we are we are calling we are calling super class constructor okay we are calling super class constructor uh, explicitly right so mm, okay we got it we got it so because we have the parameter here so it's the must that we have to also call the super in the subclass for it to display okay mm. Mm. Display. Okay. Or let me see. Okay, perfect. It's working. So let's watch here. Let me go over quickly before I end this video. I said this is actually a super constructor in that. Okay. And then this is a class. This is a subclass which extends from this parent class we call the superclass. And this class, anytime we call the same name of the class inside the same class, then this becomes a constructor. So we are calling the same name in the subclass, so it becomes a subclass what constructor. This is actually a method because this is not calling any name it's using its own name just like a function but this will be will be related to an object so it turns into a method okay here so it is called using this object here okay so since this one is called automatically this printout will display here including the super because the super has a parameter which is also printing what is stored here using this print command. So this will print here, super class. Then it comes down to, we are calling blah, blah, blah. It to call here, then this is what the subconstructor is gonna call here before the welcome to check now TV will also print here. So this is a basic understanding of what the super constructors and this can be very useful when you're gonna have a lot of model codes so i'm gonna end this video and would like you to subscribe to our channel and then turn on the notification bell to receive our next videos peace i'm out